Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm going to be doing my review of Revenants the Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. This book was sent to me for review by the author, so thank you so much to Scott for sending me this. I really enjoyed it when I read it in March. It, it was a four star for eight for me. I absolutely loved it. It had a lot of personal connections that I could really, really relate to um, during this story and it was just overall, overall a just fantastic read that I would highly highly recommend you guys read. So this book is a young adult historical fiction slash retelling slash uh, kind of coming of age story following our main character Betsy and at the beginning of this book she has just lost her brother in the Vietnam War and at what she is going through the grieving process she starts working at a VA hospital which cares for wounded veterans and while she is there she finds a patient who has kind of been locked up and forgotten. He's in his own separate room apart from uh, some of the other veterans that are, are being cared, uh, cared for at the hospital. So this vet, uh, this patient in particular has been extremely disfigured. He had been injured in a war previously. I believe it was in World War II. And that is partly the reason nobody really knows who he is. He, just because of the extremity, the extremeness of his uh, injuries and disfiguration, um, people really don't know who, the identif identification of this patient. And throughout this entire book, uh, Betsy and her brother are trying to figure out the mystery behind this patient, who he really is, and try to get him back home to his family. This is actually a retelling of Homer's The Odyssey, which I have never read the original work of, but now after reading this book, I really do want to read it. It was just a fantastic read, and I highly, highly recommend you guys pick this up. So, things I loved about this book, I really don't have many complaints about this book at all. I really love Betsy as our main character. I think she had a great personality, and I just really loved reading from her perspective. I also really loved her brother, uh, her bond with her brother Bartholomew as they are going through the uh, trials of trying to figure out the mystery behind this patient, which was just... Like, it was so interesting to read about. I also really loved the points in the story that were told from a soldier's point of view. So there were certain points in the story where uh, the soldier who everybody doesn't know who he is, they're kind of telling his story from his perspective. So they're doing these flashbacks and they're probably, um, there's a, probably five or six chapters and they're towards the middle and the end of the book. And those are probably my favorite parts of the story. I think it was... It, extremely well done and I felt like it needed to be put in there. I just love that story. I also had a really a lot of personal connections with this book. I have a lot of military military connections in my family. My dad was in the army. I have a cousin who is currently in the army. I've had family members in the navy, in the air force, pretty much every single branch of the military. Um, so I, that, it was something I really could relate to, and I cannot imagine what it must be like to lose a loved one in the war. I just can't imagine ever going through that. It breaks my heart to even think about that. I just can't imagine. The only thing I have about to say about this book that I wasn't a huge fan of, it was a little tiny bit hard to get into at first, and it was slow at some points in time, but overall... Um, once you get past that, it's really fantastic read that you guys, I, I can't recommend this book enough. It's so, so good. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below to, if you guys are interested in following me on any of my social media. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And my username on all of them is at Evil Queen Books. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video to see more from me. And I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye! Bye.